After 110 matches in the league stage, we'd enter the final four in the Hero Indian Super League. Today's the first leg of the first semi-final as FC Goa take on the League Shield winners Mumbai City FC at the Fatorda Stadium. Let's take a look straight away at the team news. Juan Ferrando makes three changes, two of them enforced 4-2-3-1 formation for Juan Ferrando that's worked so well for him so far this season. Well, Mumbai City FC make three changes as well. Amrinda's played every minute in goal. Sergio Libera also going with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Well, we've got used to seeing the DHL mini truck deliver the match ball for 110 games, but this has been a season of firsts. Known for being at the forefront of technology, DHL has delivered the official match ball by a drone for the first time in the Hero ISL. This is innovation simply delivered. Well, both teams will be feeling the nerves now. It will be the visitors that walk out first, of course, last Sunday's win of ATK Mun began so Mumbai clinched the league shield for a second time. The last time they made the semi-finals, they were beaten by today's opponents 5-1. Today's Islanders, though, are a totally different proposition. Paul Maysfield's join me for commentary on this one. Such a difficult one to call. Two of the top teams that we've seen all season. And you saw a glimpse of Bartok Becce. He's now the third highest ISL goal scorer of all time. It's only his ninth start this season. It's a new sun. But FC Goa have been perennial semi-final appearances now six in seven and four in four for them Juan Ferrando has built a team with a Spanish spine and some talented Indian youngsters who've come on leaps and bounds this year it's going to be intriguing form out of the window this pandemic means that it's a level playing field and it really really is we've reached the semi-final stage of the Hero Indian Super League, it's the League Shield winners, Mumbai City FC, who will take on FC Goa, appearing for the sixth time in seven seasons in the semi-final. They've never lifted the trophy in the final. They've been in the final twice before, two defeats. But Mumbai City FC that have got four ex-FC Goa players in their ranks tonight. Multada Fal, Mandar, Ahmed Jahu and Hugo Bumu. And this is Angulo. Once again, trying to, uh, Ortiz rather, trying to get to the byline and fired in by Xavier. And turned away by Amrinda. Well, Savio's on fire at the moment, isn't he? A little snapshot there from Savio. Here's Romario back inside the box once again, looking to play it into Ortiz. That has to be a penalty. No question this time. Ortiz had his legs taken by Mandar, and that is a penalty. No question. He just gets in front. He has clipped his left leg there. Ortiz behind. You'll see from this angle. Watch there. Nailed on, absolutely nailed on penalty. It's Angulo against Amrinda. This hesitates in the run and sends the keeper the wrong way. He went the other way this time, but to good effect. And Igor Angulo gives go of the edge in the first semi-final. Third penalty scored this season. 14 goals for him. And Goa have their noses in front. Well, it's cool as you like. As you mentioned, it hit these two penalties before today. The other way, this time, he's just changed the angle of the foot right at that last moment and tucks it in. And on the balance of play, you have to say, gives Goa a deserved lead. They do deserve it, this opening, what, 20 minutes that we've had so far. Bumi gets it back from Rainier. Now Bartok Becce onside, Adil Khan looks across, it's on Becce against Diraj! Good save by the young goalkeeper. Well, for all his failings, occasionally we cross his Diraj, he's a great shot stopper, and he's been denied, or he's denied Bartok Becce. And uh, Becce just goes to fire it into that far corner. Here he is on the ball now, looking to play that through to Lafondre, he's put And the commentator's curse works the other way, it's Hugo Bumu who gets his side level. Goa have failed to clear, and the man coming back after that four-match suspension has rifled one into the bottom corner. It's another impressive contribution from Bumu, a third goal of the season, and the league title shield winners are back on level terms. It's the ease that he's allowed to do this, though. And Jahu, look, as bright as a button, puts his hand on the ball, plays it to him, skips past Edu Badia, gets lucky there, but no one coming out to close him down. Donaghy's just backed off him there. Savio trying to get back there and get that foot in, but that little bit of luck has gone with Bumu, and he's cool as well when he gets into positions like that. Should he have played? Should he have been left out? Well, he's answered the critics there, hasn't he? I think he could probably hear you. <laughs> Don't forget, we've got the first leg of the other semi-final coming for you tomorrow from the GMC Stadium in Bambalim. Northeast against AT Kemmer. McGann, as Ortiz goes through again, and should have had another penalty, I think the referee this time said,
says no, and once again, go as Bencher on their feet. But Ortiz causing all sorts of problems to those Mumbai defenders, and this time he hasn't got the decision. The little smile tells you all you need to know. The goer bench had gone absolutely ballistic there. They're really, really not happy. Was the contact? That's the question. Yeah, let's have a look at this angle, shall we, Mark? There he drops the shoulder, goes in between the two players. It was the faintest and faintest of touches. He's not going to get the ball, is he? There, I tell you, letter, letter of the law, that's a penalty. Just ahead of his teammate, Rainier. There's Bipin. Which to get on, Bechi! Good save, Dirash. Just pushed that one away to safety. And now Ortiz with a lovely touch to take him away from Jahu. No changes to either team at the break, by the way. So it is the same 22 players that will start us off in the second half. And it is FC Goa in their familiar orange, kicking from left to right. That will get the game underway. Who will be the heroes, I wonder? Here's Lafondra bursting through. Donoghue just stuck in a foot. Still, he's not cleared up. Bechi! What a chance. And he couldn't keep it down. Well, how have Mumbai not scored? You would put your mortgage on our Bechi hitting the target there. You really would. Not Bechi. Mandar's in space. Over on the far side, Gamma goes across just to try and block his path. Gets him back onto the foot and whips it in. And Beche wasn't too far away that time with the header. Much better header. But just wide of the target. Adil Khan. Gamma. Ortiz went on a bit of a decoy. Gamma still going, drives it low! And drives it into the bottom corner. And Xavier Gamma puts FC Goa back in front. It's his first oh, in the yeah. Super League goal of the season, and what a time to score it as well. And another Indian player that has shown this season for his team fires in, and all of a sudden the second half has been illuminated. Where has that come from? I'll tell you, what a run, what a finish this is from Xavier Gama. No one goes to front him up until it's too late. He's given the freedom of the half to just go and attack that 18 yard box, and Xavier Gama just looks up and just buries that in the corner. Good can't finish from the young man. Well, the Goa fans delighted on the fan wall, and he likes semi-finals. His last goal came in the semi-final against Chennai. Vignesh. Najahu, who's on side. He's swinging ball in. Four! Oh! And they've levelled. It's Mortara for once again. His 13th goal in the... Indian Super League is unlucky for Goa because they led for just a couple of minutes and once again it's a set piece that's proved their undoing. Mortada fouled, no one tracked the run once again and the header comfortably beats Deerash to make it 2-2. Two -two. It's the second phase of the set play, they don't deal with it do they? Everybody goes to sleep in that Goa defence, no one marking and Matada Fall just strolls in, he's stayed forward but again it's the quality of that ball in from Amajahu that just puts it on a plate for Matata Fall. And he's not going to make a mistake from there, is he? Not when he's given a second bite of the cherry. That's Princeton putting Jahu under pressure. That's a little bit short as well. Princeton got their first foul. Foot was high. Referee's played advantage. It's Angulo. Fouls there with a clean challenge this time. But he may well get a card here. And it is yellow for Matata Fall. And I think Goa would probably have rather had the free kick. You would have thought so. Well, he's sticking to his guns, the referee. He's, that's a red card. That is a straight red card. Two-footed, off the floor, and he's caught the man. He's nowhere near the ball. That is a poor decision from the officials, and that is a poor, poor challenge from Matada Fall. Can they get on the end of this one? They've got to try and get past Mortada foul first. It's in by Ortiz. Right the way across comes out to Glenn Martins. Didn't hit it cleanly, but the whistle goes. Swell, the ball was in the penalty area. Three players are down. Injured, Donaghy just getting back to his feet. But it was all fairly unsavoury in the final few minutes, but in the end, we go into the second leg. The way we started the first, all square, and still all to play for in the second leg. Full-time score, though, in the semi-final. FC Goa 2, Mumbai City FC 2.